make all my best decisions in the morning I make all of my worst mistakes at night But it's the spaces in between I when I'm thinking That what if all my second thoughts were right I don't know, I just started writing a lot of songs that were just like, oh, these are me, these are my songs, and they were very personal, and I was really proud of them, and I liked them, and I was excited by them, and so um, I finished writing five or six songs, and then um, found a buddy in town to help me engineer and produce them, and um, that was the beginning of Vespertine. My song uh, called Blue is one of my favorite ones, and it's, I think it is me very much being true to myself, despite what other people might think of it because it is a very like ballady like I'm just a sucker for like ballad love songs and it's very much that and it's very chill and like emotional but also kind of croony and like loungy and jazzy um, which I love and so um, that one I could say took a little bit of a risk yeah about two years ago and just having a, a disappointing situation being on a record label um, but also like there was good parts to it but there was very frustrating parts and all the frustration kind of had co uh, coagulated on me and just uh, I just got real cynical and real jaded and real you know to a point where I just didn't even like music and I didn't even like listening to it and I just was real yeah just real cynical and real burnt out um, and I think a lot of that is like the business side of music that really kind of got to me because it felt like again I was like I'm trying to be so real and genuine and uh, you know being in, out, out in LA where I spent a, a lot of time in 2019 um, just dealing with the business part of it like it just stripped me of my ambition and my motivation to create anything. Uh, yeah, my tattoo endeavor is very related to my sort of burnout on the music side of things. And so to find something like tattooing, which I had always been into from the same time I got into music and, you know, they've always been very, like lots of crossover, obviously. And I actually apprenticed to Tattoo uh, way back about when I started touring and kind of always had it on the way, way back burner of just like, I don't know, maybe someday I could try to get into that. And yeah, sure enough, come quarantine time where I just got bored enough, you know, last June, I was just like, oh, might as well. What else am I? I'm not playing shows. I'm not writing. I'm not doing anything. So yeah, I just bought some, some very like introductory gear and lots of YouTube videos and I have another friend that also was like teaching himself and so we would just kind of trade uh, tips and tricks. It can be like addicting, it can uh, feel like oh man that was great I want more but also you can kind of crash after you feel it. Um, it's always kind of weird the contrast of like a big loud bright energetic performance and there's people and lights and noise and all that and then it's like and then you're like sitting in your bed a few hours later and you're just like did that just happen I guess I don't know what now I'm just back here like it just feels like a such an event such a dream uh, and then you just kind of get snapped back into reality so that's a fun little contrast if I could tell my younger self that was just getting into music or into the music business um, I would tell him to pay attention more. You're gonna have some great opportunities, take advantage of them, learn, 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 learn.